Why aren't Johnny Depp, Amber Heard prosecuted for using illegal substances? Generally you have to be caught with the drugs or be actively high to get into any real trouble. You need more than, they did drugs, to get someone in legal trouble. I very much am not a lawyer. But one guess is that the legal system doesn't want to incentivize dishonesty because of drug use. It's similar to why rehab centers are legal. People understand that drugs are a problem and want people to feel free with checking into one. Without fear of being arrested. I-A-N-A-L. But I believe these statements fall under the involuntary confession classification. That would make them inadmissible in a trial if they were to be arrested for drug use, possession. Basically. You can't be put on the stand for an unrelated reason in. Under oath. Be forced to confess to a different crime. There is also the corpus delicti rule. Which. Long story short says, a confession isn't enough to convict. There is no open investigation for drug use, possession for either of them. And no evidence has been collected. It's not just celebrity. Involuntary confession and corpus delicti apply to everyone. If you walk into a crowded place right now and shout, my name is nope, rope, pasta and I do cocaine. You aren't going to get arrested. Objection hearsay. So being on drugs itself is not illegal. It's the buying, selling that our government is really concerned with. Tax evasion lol. And of course those that can't control themselves on drugs and do stupid, illegal things. It's not illegal to be high it's illegal to have it. It's not illegal to have used drugs. Please educate me someone but is drug use even a punishable crime? Possession can be. Selling drugs, of course. But I was under the impression that nobody can do shit to you if you take drugs. Apart from DUI. I don't know how you do things here in America but here in Europe I have never heard of anyone being. Prosecuted for using drugs. It's not illegal to use those substances. It's illegal to possess and distribute them. Lots of really wrong answers here. I have been an attorney for over a decade. Doing only litigation. And I am an expert in all aspects of this question. Both of them are accusing one another of committing crimes in. If talking about their own drug use. Admitting to crimes. The distinction between possessing and using drugs isn't really meaningful. How else can you use? drugs if you did not possess them. At least for the short time that it took to ingest them? If you walked up to a cop and admitted to doing drugs, were intoxicated, and tested positive, then you're getting convicted. If charges are brought, yes it is true that criminal statutes usually talk about possession, or distribution, instead of use. But that doesn't mean doing drugs is legal. Move along. Nothing to see here. Use implies possession in all but the most extreme scenarios. I.e. Forced drugging. Even if you just ripped some hits off your buddy's joint. You possessed the drugs. And you committed crimes. Are their statements admissible against them? Absolutely. If either of them says, I used drugs on X date in X location, while under oath in this proceeding. That's probably all that is needed to convict. It is not necessary for the prosecutor to have any other evidence than that. That's different from saying, I killed JFK, because that's obviously untrue. And you could never get a jury to believe that you did. But every jury would believe that these rich dysfunctional celebrities are doing the drugs they admit to doing. Why don't they plead the fifth and refuse to admit to crimes? Then? For a lot of reasons. They don't care. Most prosecutors aren't interested in prosecuting drug users at all. The ones that are probably aren't in LA. Or they don't want the hassle of the media attention and well-paid defense for a minor drug. Conviction. A lot of this isn't new information. 
celebrities' drug addiction issues are usually public knowledge anyway, and any risk of criminal prosecution is vastly outweighed by the need to win this case, which will kill at least one of their careers. For many reasons, admitting to a low-level crime is not a big deal for rich white celebrities. TL. Doctor. Yes, they did crimes and admitted it, but they don't care. Off topic but a pet peeve of mine, when Amber's lawyer said, objection hearsay, and the judge roasted him. The lawyer wasn't being that dumb. And the judge was missing the point. He asked a question that did not call for a hearsay response. Then Johnny began testifying to hearsay, something Johnny can't do. Amber's lawyer objected to Johnny's answer as containing hearsay. He should have moved to strike it rather than saying, objection, but the judge should have known. Better. The lawyer got flustered and just moved on. Being in court is really hard. So the amount of roasting he's getting is just unfair. They're not on trial for drug use. Because if I point to a random person and say, you're a crackhead, my word alone is not enough to get them arrested. Thank God for that. It's not really illegal to take drugs. You're thinking of it the wrong way. Possession and intent to supply are different things. Or being high causing a nuisance. You can say you murdered someone on TV. But if it can't be proved, then you can't be charged. It's very simple. At the bottom you noted, confession, evidence in the trial cannot be used to prosecute the person for another crime. Hypothetically let's say one of them committed a murder or robbed a bank. And that came out during the testimony. They could 100% get away with it at that point? Charging everyone and using tax money for people using a bit of drugs is archaic. People can do drugs in peace. The system tries to arrest actual criminals, not drug users specifically. Generally speaking doing drugs is legal. The possession of said drugs and what you do while under their influence is where the law tends to kick in. I can go around telling others of the drugs I had done and not be arrested and I am not famous. The police have to witness. Drug test find the drugs, etc. to be able to prosecute you. They can't come and arrest you for doing drugs in the past. It's a civil trial not a criminal trial. Legally, there is a difference between using drugs and possessing drugs. Many people conflate the two. Most laws make it illegal to possess drugs. If you enjoyed this video, Please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.